The families of two Newark firefighters killed battling a fire on a cargo ship in July are speaking out. Their attorney says he uncovered new information while deposing crew members when the Grimaldi Group filed a motion under maritime laws to limit liabilities. CBS 2's Christine Sloan has a story. Wayne was taken from us in a manner that was entirely preventable. Tearful family members of Wayne Brooks Jr. and Augusto Agi Akabu speaking Friday in front of the firefighters' former firehouse in Newark on what would have been Akabu's birthday. It's his 46th birthday, and it's our first year without him. I stand before you today to express my support for the legal actions that will be taken against those implicated in the tragic and untimely passing of Wayne. The attorney representing both families revealing new details about the investigation, saying a Jeep Wrangler on board the Grande Costa Devorio caused the inferno on the cargo ship back in July. The men loading the ship were using a Jeep Wrangler uh, to, to push cargo upon the ship. That Jeep Wrangler was having known mechanical uh, issues throughout the day and was in fact smoking. And despite that, those men continued to use that Jeep Wrangler until it started ablaze. Apostolis also saying two firefighting teams on the ship failed to stop the fire and incorrectly used a fire suppression system. The main garage door on deck 12 of the fire ship was in fact kept open and remained open, allowing fresh air and oxygen to continue fueling the fire. The Grimaldi group responding, saying pusher vehicles are used regularly to load vehicles, but that it can't comment because it's owned and operated by two other companies. The spokesperson also saying because of the investigation, it can't comment on the fire suppression system either. Negligence from all parties involved led to the death of my brother Augie and Wayne. The U.S. Coast Guard and several other agencies are investigating the cargo ship fire. The attorney representing the family says so far they have not received any information on that investigation. What they were able to get was through depositions. In Newark, Christine Sloan, CBS 2 News.